This is just a quick uh, description or instruction on how to install a punch uh, and adjust it and get it torqued correctly for a, a thick turret Wilson HP assembly. These instructions would also apply to most thick turret punch assemblies. Um, I'm going to be using an HP style punch. Basically these instructions would apply to a, a old style thick, a full body punch. Uh, but specifically I'm looking at a Wilson Tool HP punch assembly here. So to start with, I have a D station here. These instructions would also apply to uh, the C station, two inch. The, this is the D station or three and a half inch and also the E station, four and a half inch assemblies. Uh, so to start with, we want to look inside here. We see that we have a keyway that uh, will line up with the punches pin. So what I generally do is I install this so that it's not on the keyway and then rotate it until it drops onto the key. That way I know for sure that I'm on the key and I've dropped down incorrectly. And then I'll just quickly tighten that punch, not actually torquing it but just getting it quickly hand tight. And then I'll install the stripper plate and I just line it up over the punch shape and push it down until it locks in. Now I'm ready to torque the punch and I'm going to use this fixture which Wilson Tool sells in the catalog. Uh, it's handy to hold the punch for the purpose of torquing it or, or, or removing an old punch because um, uh, trying to torque these you don't want to generally put the, the guide assembly in a vise that's generally a bad idea. Um, a lot of machines have some sort of fixture on them for this purpose as well, but we do sell this in the catalog. So that's what I'm using today. So I can drop the guide assembly in there. I want to be careful that I don't pitch my fingers as I'm dropping that down there. Uh, and there's a key on this fixture to prevent this from turning. So now when I take my 3 8 Allen wrench, I can put that in there and torque that punch. And I'm going maybe not as tight as I possibly can go, but I'm getting pretty tight here um, just with the T-handle. The, the specification here is 50 foot-pounds or 68 newton meters. So if you want to use a torque wrench, that's a good idea. In a lot of cases, people get by just using the T-handle. So now I'm torqued and ready to go, except that I want to look at my length. So I'm looking for 10 or 20 or 30 thousandths of recess from the punch tip to the stripper plate here. So this is maybe not quite enough recess, so I might want to make a quick adjustment, push the punch, up, uh, the button on the side of the punch head and make a quick adjustment. So now I'm just a little bit shorter. So that's quite easy to adjust just by pushing and turning the punch head. And that's all there is to it. This tool's ready now to drop in the machine and run.